In this overview, we are going to review how to make a new line list. If you aren't familiar with the line list app, please review the demo on the line listing app interface prior to reviewing this video. Let us create the line list we see on screen. To create this line list, we need to select the following items from the inputs and the program dimensions tab. In this example, we won't use the other tabs. Let's start by selecting our input type along with the program and program stages. We can select events as the input type, which is already selected in this case. Malaria case notification, investigation and response is our program and diagnosis and treatment as our stage, which is already selected. Next, from the Program Dimensions tab, we can select our where, when, and what. We can start with our where, the organization unit. We will use the user organization unit in this example. We can then select the when using our available dates. We have both the event date and the enrollment date available here. And we can use the enrollment date in this example. Let us use this year. Lastly, we select our data dimensions. We can use the search box to add these to our line list. Let's update the line list to review our output. And now we can expand this visualization so we can see it in more detail. We can change the number of rows per page. Scroll down to see these rows. And also navigate between the different pages of the line list. Note that there are some other options that can alter how the line list looks. If the Options button is selected, we can edit the Data, Style, and Legend. The Data tab allows us to define rounding, if any, for numeric data items. Style allows us to change the display density, font size, digit group separator, and display the hierarchy if we want to. Let us modify some of these options. Legends is useful for numeric data. Another demonstration is available that shows how to use numeric data and apply legends within the line listing app. If we do another update, we can see how the display options has affected our line list. Using the file menu, we can save our line lists. Navigate to File and Save, and give the line list a name. After saving, the File menu will have additional options. You can reopen this line list at any time after saving it by using the Open option and finding this line list. There are also download options that allow you to download the line list. There are several formats available when you select the download menu. We can download an Excel file as an example. The download functionality is significantly improved in the line listing app compared to event reports, as the exact information that is seen on screen is what gets downloaded. Event reports in comparison added a number of different variables in the download even when they were not specified. In this overview, we reviewed how to create a new line list as well as some of the menu options that are available within the line listing app. We look forward to hearing your comments on this app. If you are interested, note that we have several other videos demonstrating further features on using the line listing app. For any questions or feedback, please do not hesitate to contact us on the Community of Practice.